Come and get me! He will find and fight you! Come and get me, I dare you! I'm Frank Romano and I've been working with canines for over 28 years. Bex, wanna go for a walk? Somebody? Bex and I uh, didn't have a real long career. He came on in 09 and then I got injured in 2013. That's what put me out and I've been out since. I know he wasn't ready for retirement, but I'm glad that I have him and I got to keep him because even though I know that's where his heart is going to work, I love him and I didn't want to give him up. It's bittersweet because I wasn't ready. I'm 51 and uh, I was planning on going to at least 55, but after that first injury, I just had a string of bad luck with surgeries. I know that I'm not as strong or the man I used to be prior to these surgeries. But in my mind and in my heart, I truly believe that I could still go out and, and do the job. Bex don't like retirement at all. Watching him today out there doing it, he loves it and the way he looked up at me just like he did back then. Like, hey, I'm ready, let's go. You know, always willing to go into the fight. We've done a lot of bomb sweeps. We're here. We were responsible for the Golden Gate Bridge, so we did a lot of sweeps at the bridge. Plus, we did a lot of dignitary type of stuff too, like for Governor Brown, Mitt Romney, during presidential here. campaigns, and Big Sur Marathon because of the Boston Marathon and stuff like that. We've got a lot of hazards out there, and uh, these canines, are there to help protect their human officer. The bond between a, a handler and a canine is like no other. Rex was my first canine partner who had cancer and uh, passed away. Uh, he didn't die in the line of duty, but to me, he was my faithful partner. He was a great partner, great partner. I hadn't cried since my dad passed away and before that since I was a kid. When you become a man, it, it's hard to cry and it hurt. It hurts all over, you know, from within. And uh, that was hard, it was hard. We did a lot of great things. This dog was a part of the million dollar club, as we call it. At the end of his career, he had over four million dollars in narcotics seized and over a million dollars in asset forfeiture. He was our superstar. We had one canine up in Sonoma County that was killed in the line of duty uh, chasing a suspect and got run over by a car. And I have to tell you to date, every time he gives a speech and talks about it, this strong man of an officer still cries for his partner. It's a bond like no other. The dog has to trust you and you have to trust in the dog. I always dreamed of having my own dog kennels as well as a training area where I could continue to work with law enforcement dogs. I never let that dream go. Let's do it again. We're gonna do one more. I always make sure that they got the best of the best so that the officers can all get home to their family. <laughs> I had a great career, but it's not the way I wanted it to end. I still feel like I'm in my 20s, in my mind and in my heart, you know, but my body tells me different. I need to just move on to a new chapter.
but I'm just gonna keep plugging along and doing what I love to do. Dogs are a huge part of my life and they always will be. I'm really looking forward to the rest of my life with Bex and where it's gonna take me. Every road that ends, a new one begins. And who knows where this path is going to take me.